Happy 4th of July, everyone. <laughs> so just kind of start off, um, you know, thank you very much for everybody here just being really open and really welcoming and um, just really blessed um, people here. And, and I've had a long journey, you know, to get to this point. Um, you know, it wasn't always, uh, church wasn't always my favorite place to go, but um, you know, being, I was raised Catholic, um, went to church when I was younger all the time, but I really didn't quite um, get anything out of it. You know, it was just kind of going through the motions. Uh, you know, I would listen to the preachers, you know, and I felt there, there was a God out there, but I wasn't convinced. You know, I felt that, you know, my life was just... Uh, I felt like I was just just surviving, just kind of coasting through life, um, you know, and I met my wife uh, a long time ago, um, let's see, 16 years ago now, and, you know, we, <laughs> we've had her ups and downs. Um, actually, when I met her, she, she was a Christian already, and she actually was the one getting me to go to church, you know, getting me to read the Bible, getting me to pray. Um, you know, and it wasn't something that I was really interested in, but, you know, because I was trying to make this thing work and I really wanted to maybe see if there really was a God, maybe there really was something out there that I didn't understand, that I couldn't see, that I didn't understand completely. But, you know, so I would go to church, you know, I would, I would do, you know, the things that I was supposed to do as a Christian, but I didn't feel like I was a Christian. Um, you know, I really had a lot of doubts. Um, you know, I struggled a lot. Uh, I bartended for a long time, you know, especially like on the weekends at nightclubs and stuff. So I was really living in a sinful life and I really didn't um, understand um, how to be a Christian, I guess. And I just really never, I could never really um, relate to what I heard on Sundays at church and the message that the, the pastor was trying to bring forth, I guess because I wasn't open to there really being a God. I wanted to believe, but I wasn't convinced. And so, you know, through the ups and downs, uh, you know, that I've gone through in my life, you know, I've hit bottom a few times. And, you know, it's been really, I guess, a really good learning experience for me because I didn't really, I, I think God made me go through everything that I went through so that I would be here today uh, and just really understand exactly what his plan is for my life, you know? And, you know, <laughs> I guess for me, like, it really started changing about a year ago. Um, you know, I was, I, I felt like there was something more in my life that I was missing that, you know, I'm just living in this life of sin. I'm just coasting. And I just really felt like there was something more out there for me. And I, I didn't know what it was. But I was seeking, beginning to seek him, even though I really didn't understand him and I really didn't feel his presence in my life because I just felt like I was just, like I was almost like I was cursed, like he was just constantly just slapping me down. And I just, it wasn't him, but now that I realize that, you know, it was the opposite side. But, you know, um, I started going to a Bible study about a year ago, actually almost exactly a year ago to this day. Um, I started going to a, a Bible study on Thursday nights. It's a Seattle revival. They hold it here in the Fireside Room uh, Thursday nights. Uh, Phil Fisher, he's a great uh, influence on me to really get me to start coming to Bible study, really start opening up to God that, you know, maybe there's more um, out there for me. And so I started coming to Bible study, but I wasn't ready for church to start coming to church on a regular basis. You know, I, I didn't mind coming every now and then, but I'd given up on church. That was where I was at a year ago. I'd given up on church. I was kind of like, you know, I'm not, it's not really for me. That's how I felt. I just wasn't receiving anything out of it. And so, you know, I'd been going to Bible study for probably, you know, a couple months. And I started to really feel, starting to feel like there's something going on here. I didn't know what it was. You know, I didn't know exactly what he was doing in my life, but I knew he was working in my life somehow. And 
the problem with me was I was bartending all night on the weekends, and so I couldn't come in. I could come in on Sundays, but I really didn't want to. I wasn't motivated. I was really tired, um, but I didn't know how to get out of that situation and move forward so that I could start attending to church. And, you know, I prayed about it for a long time, and, you know, just finally one day I just took the leap of faith, and I just stepped away from my old life, my old job, just walked away, um, you know, just really started to put my eyes on Jesus and really start focusing on God in my life. And, you know, I still struggle. I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, it's been a really tough year, but I know that he has great big things in store for me. And just, you know, coming to church for the first time, I think it was October or November. I think it was early November was the first time I attended church here. And I sat right up here in the front row. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. I was just like, okay, let's do this. So, you know, Pastor Lau preached a really good service. And then after the service, he did a, um, a prayer, or he was casting out demons that day. And I was like, okay, I, I'm not sure what this is all about, but, you know, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll stick around and I'll see what, uh, what what's going to happen. And, um <laughs> Boy, my life changed after that day. Um, it really did. It, it really did because he, you know, he prayed for me. He, I had probably so many demons in me from just over the years, just, just all these things in my life. And, man, that day, he released them all. I mean, they were, I, <laughs> it was, it was almost like, God just grabbed me and said, wake up, wake up, I need you. So, you know, I, I felt the physical presence of God that day, and that really opened my eyes um, to what he has in store for my life. You know, I know I'm here for a reason. You know, he brought me to this church, and, I, and everybody has just been so amazing here at this church. Pastor Lau is such an anointed teacher. He really, he really delivers the, the message with such passion and, and just really good clarity. He doesn't um, throw a bunch of dilution in his message. It's straight from the Bible. It's, it's, it's what God wanted us to hear, and he does a great job delivering it. And I've never had a preacher or a pastor really deliver the message like he does. So thank you so much, Pastor. I mean, you've really, really opened my eyes, and you've really helped me um, move forward and, and, and continue on my uh, mission towards God. And I mean, it's just been such a blessing to come to this church. You know, I, I've slowly um, got family members that are coming to church too now. And, you know, for me, <laughs> I, if you would have asked me even a year ago that I'm going to be leading my family to Christ, that I'm going to be leading my family to church, I would have laughed. I said, yeah, yeah, right. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the last person to lead someone to Christ, but, you know, he has, a, he has a purpose, and he has a plan for each and every one of us, and, you know, like I said, we still struggle each and every day. Every one of us falls short every single day, but through the grace of God, he forgives us as long as we repent and we keep our eyes on him. You know, we know that he is working in our lives, and even though we can't see him, and that was the hard thing for me because I couldn't see him or I couldn't you know, feel his presence until, you know, uh, recently, but I, he's always been with me. And I realize that now looking back at my life, all the things that's happened in my life, all the close calls that I almost died, just so many things in my life that have happened. I now know that God's always been with me. He never left me. And now, you know, I'm ready to walk down the path that he's laid for me. So I'm just really excited and I'm really happy to be at this church at New Hope International, and just everybody is just, I feel like it's a family, one big family here, and I'm still getting to know every one of you, so I, you know, I'm, it's, it's a slow process, but I'm really bad with names, but I'm slowly getting to know everybody <laughs> here, um, but Pastor Lau, Pastor Da, they've been just great, uh, they've really been a great influence on myself and my family, a really good godly influence, and I, I really appreciate everything that they've done for me, so you guys, thank you so much for just being so open and welcome to me and my family here. And I really, really enjoy uh, coming here every week to, um, you know, get touched by the Holy Spirit. It, it's just, it's, it's great. I love it. Um, so thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you.